Uh, let me just declare that my people are pretty well informed about that part of our own history in astronomy. There's a whole community of women at the Harvard College Observatory, mm -hmm. but we knew that this story was not told beyond our own retelling among ourselves. And this was an important exposition of the role that women played in early science and particularly early astronomy. Yeah, the glass, glass universe. universe. <laughs> <laughs> right. And what was the subtitle on that one? How the ladies of the Harvard Observatory took the measure of the stars. Ooh, nice. Wow. You make great titles. Mm, thank, you. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. So uh, we've got you here and now because you have yet another book. Yeah. Just setting the record straight. Okay. Yeah. Just let's do it. Uh, Marie Curie. Oh, okay. How the, Everyone knows. Wait, wait, wait. wait. The, okay. The, I, I'm okay. not going to read the subtitle because I want you to compliment her on the yet another subtitle. Okay. Here it goes. Go ahead. Give it to us. Marie Curie. How the glow of radium lit a path for women in science. Oh, see, so you're just showing off oh. now. <laughs> you're just showing off. <laughs> the glow of radium. The glow oh, of yeah. radium. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Yeah. 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 How, and, and how, like, I see what you did there, too, because she... Right, didn't she discover radium? She did, right? Yeah. She discovered radium, and was well, we'll it polonium? We'll get the whole. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll get the whole thing. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember my. Oh, you remember polonium? Oh yeah, my God, polonium was, about polonium. that was another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that, that was actually the first 